made my best sale yet. Got this off Facebook Marketplace for $100. Sold within a couple months for a best offer of $900. Ah! Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about the best of the best August bolos. Um, I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, and I invited members of the group to share their best August bolo. So that's what we're going to talk about items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a high profit. All right, the first item here, it says, we found these in the most disgusting storage unit ever. It was our first storage unit by and last, and last in June. Bought the whole 10 by 15 storage unit for 75. Got several good things out of it, but there were eight of these sticker sheets. I'm saying 10 cents is what we have into them. Sold one on Mercari for 18, two on eBay for 18, and one as the best offer of 16. My friend swiped a sheet, and so I have three left. This is what they look like. So they're the Monster Energy Drink stickers. Got this at the Goodwill for 50 cents a couple weeks back. It is from a game called Portals 2. Portals 2, about 15 years back. Had it listed for 250 and took a best offer of 230 Best sale I have had to date. So this is what it looks like. And it looks like it's a plush a stuffed animal so awesome donated paid zero sold within a week of listing took a lower offer of 80 pleased it sold so quickly it is a fire king jadeite splash proof bowl all right i love this one paid 25 or 50 cents at a garage sale you know how you're like hmm did i pay a quarter or 50 cents took a best offer of 225 when you sell it for 225 it really doesn't matter uh been listed a couple of months sold to canada i charged calculated usps first class international but purchased label through pirate ship simple export rate so for less than the amount the buyer paid for shipping i was able to purchase label and insurance so that is an option. Um, I use Global Shipping Program just because I like the protection of it. I also like to know that if an item is not allowed to be sold in a country, that they're probably going to catch it and not send it. Um, plush is probably pretty safe, but you can use simple export rate through Pirate Ship to ship your items. That is another option. Um, Noel Farm Girl Scavenger and... Um, Mountain Man Treasure Troy, both of them ship this way and have been very successful with it. You can check out their videos for more information on that. But this is an Eden Baby's First Plush Terry Cloth Pastel Teddy. Looks like this, $225 on that one. I don't normally bother with Vera Bradley, but I found a backpack with a rare tavern on the green print at the bins for $3.50. It sold within days of posting and it looks like it sold for $50. I found and rescued these vintage bookends at the dump. They looked unique and uh, there was nothing like them on the internet. I listed them for $200 and sent out an offer of $175, which was accepted. They sold within a week of listing. So this is what they look like. It says vintage red metal P kangaroo pocket books, literature advertisement bookends. Those are very cool. Okay, so this one is mine. I got this out of a mystery toy box from Auctions For You. This is Auctions For You's channel. And basically what she does is she has auctions and she buys wholesale and sells to resellers. So um, her and Donatella Bottolino both do that and I purchase from them quite often. But anyway, this came out of my mystery box and it is a Star Wars Empire Strikes Back uh, card game from 1996 and I sold this for $65 plus shipping. Made my best sale yet. Got this off Facebook Marketplace for $100. Sold within a couple months for a best offer of $900. Ah, that's amazing. Disney limited edition Pinocchio marionette figure. Marionette, I'm not sure if I'm saying that. 321 out of 500 in the original box. How cool is that? Free from the free pile at a yard sale in this spring. I kept it for a bit, but it was very, it wasn't very comfortable. Sold the second day. 
It's a genuine Pandora Sterling Silver Nature Serenity Moonstone Ring, size six and a half. And this is what it looks like. Um, it looks like Best Offer was taken, so it's crossed out. So I'm not sure exactly what it sold for. All right, the next one comes from Abigail's Artful Abode, and she is a Bolo Buddies member. So this is her YouTube channel. Definitely go and check her out. She said, I bought this at an antique mall in Colorado while visiting my sister for $35, I think. It looked like a high quality piece, but I didn't have my phone, so my sister was nice enough to Google picture it for me, which helped me identify it. I bought it in May and just recently sold. So she's talking about Google Lens, and a lot of you guys in the group are not familiar with Google Lens. I did a video on that. It should be pinned under the announcements featured section. Go check that out because it is Oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's a free tool and it's gonna save you so much time. If you're at the thrift store and you're like, what is this? And you don't have great keywords, you take a picture of it and Google pulls up pictures. Now, is it 100% perfect all the time? No, but it's pretty fantastic. So what she sold here is this uh, vintage decorated copper and brass reclining ram incense burner. And it looks like it sold for $235. Picked up at a bins, paid $7 for it, and listed it for $99.99. Sold in eight days, took a best offer of $80. Bucks. It is a massager, a deep tissue therapy vibrating chiropac chiro I can't say that word. Chiropractic body massage. All right, there's what it looks like. Knickerbocker Bear Hug Bear bought at a local thrift store for $0.50. Cents. Sold within an hour on eBay for $385. You guys, this one just is shocking to me. This bear, I mean, look at it. Would you have picked it up or would you have walked right past it? Let me know down in the comments. She said, I listed it at auction starting at $295 and a buy it now of $385 and it sold for $385. Oh, it's just incredible. It's just incredible to me. Okay, Collegeville Vampire purchased at yard sale for 50 cents, listed in the afternoon, and it sold the next morning on eBay for $100 as a buy it now. It has the outfit to go with it and was in the original box. I will post those pictures also. So this is the mask, and then here's the body part. Very, very cool. I picked up a whole box full of random Bibles for free at a garage sale. They sold in six weeks for full asking price of $35. And it looks like this one is a 1957 Holy Bible New Catholic Edition illustrated with a uh, genuine leather uh, cover. Okay, I picked up this vintage Bath and Body Works art stuff roll-on body glitter in a bag of four for $2 at Savers. Price the candy corn scented one at 95 and sold on Mercari for 95 plus shipping. Definitely something to look out for. Vintage Candy Corn Bath and Body Works art stuff. Roll on glitter. Wow, that's incredible. Bought for $20 at a flea market. Listed for $250 and took a best offer of $210. Sold in 90 days. It's a vintage Howard Pocket Watch. 17 jewels, blue, outer, index, winds, runs, and keeps time. Literally paid pennies for both as I thought a box of cards for 20 at a yard sale. As I bought a box of cards for 20 at a yard sale. Sold in one day, listed for 400 and took a best offer of 350 So he got the whole box for 20 and this one card sold for 350 Oh, that's incredible. Paid 75 cents at a yard sale, sold in 60 days, listed for 150 sent offer of 120 and it was accepted. Oh, here's that word. Uh, is it Limoges? 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 Limoges. Might be Limoges. Uh, imports. Uh, Maine, France, hinged picture frame trinket box. Check that out. $120. I paid a dollar at a yard sale, listed for $99, and took a best offer of $88. Sold in less than two days. I am fairly new reseller, so this was my best flip so far. Awesome. It is a Rare Vintage Pyrex Sage Green Reverse Scroll Oval Casserole Dish, one and a half quart with lid. So great keywords. Purchased her in a large bag of random 80s toys at a yard sale for a dollar. Sold it on eBay for a best offer of 80. 
It's a vintage Poochie stamp figure from 1983. I love these kind of bolos. You guys know I love toys. Bought in Garrison MN. Is that Minnesota? Oh, I don't know. For $4, I need to go back to elementary school. Sold auction in a week for $97 plus shipping. Shipped to Australia. These are selling well over there. It is in, I think it's pronounced Empoli Decanter Genie Bottle Vintage Bubble Glass Turquoise Blue with Stopper from the 1960s. Picked up for a few bucks at a garage sale buyout. Sold for full price in less than 90 days. It is a brass metalware Den Han Rotterdam Trawler Nautical Mariner. Mariner? 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 I don't know. Oil lamp complete. This is what it looks like. Sorry, guys. $275 that sold for. Oh, my goodness. All right. Cost of goods, $27.50. Sold in about a week on eBay. Uh, best offer of $74.99 for, um, for $69.99 plus shipping. Okay, so it was $69.99 plus shipping, all in $74.99. Purchased at an uh, online YouTube auction. This is a Bratz Sasha Strutted Fashion Doll. So this I would kind of compare to going out and buying something retail arbitrage and flipping it. Um, you're not going to get as big of a profit margin because she paid up for it. She paid $27.50 for it. If you find this at a garage sale for five bucks, that's going to be even better. But $27.50 into $69.99 is still a great um, profit margin for sitting at your house and ordering on a YouTube auction. This one comes from Mom Knows Treasures. This is her YouTube channel. She is a Bolo Buddies member. Go check her out. I will link her down below. Here's another one from Mom's Knows Treasures. And she um, got these at a thrift store for $1.98 for both. And they sold for $64.08. Plus shipping. Uh, Santa and Miss Claus Anna Lee Vintage Dolls, 1970s. Stand or sit. This is what they look like. And um, Got Junk in Our Trunk recently did a video on Anna Lee Dolls. So definitely go check out that video. It looks like this. And I will link that down below as well. All right. Here's another one from Mom's Nose Treasures. Cost of goods was 25 cents each. Purchased a huge bin of craft dolls and doll heads at a yard sale for $0.10. Cents, or $10. Sold in about six months for $40 plus shipping. Buyer sent an offer uh, from $50. Sold on eBay. Okay, so it was listed at $50. Took a best offer of $40. Now, this is more of a long tail item. But I feel like this is something that we might see at a garage sale or a thrift store. Um, like an estate sale, somebody's getting rid of their crafter's items, and you might walk past them. So I wanted her to uh, share this one with you guys. Facebook Marketplace, cost of goods $45 and sold for $983.76 plus shipping. Wow. It's a Magnavox Odyssey console box and games. <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, paid $10 at an estate sale, sold in 12 hours for full asking price of $650. It is rare, last of a legacy GSA Carson City Silver Dollar sale poster, government issued USPS. This is what it looks like. And this one comes from YouTube channel I Buy Chit. And it's C H I T. Uh, very clever there, right? He gets all us YouTubers to say it. Um, but Christopher is fantastic. He is a major bolo finder. And I actually just featured his store not long ago. This is what that video looks like. If you want to see a ton of big money bolos, you have got to go watch this video. It is incredible. He is just, the stuff he finds, it's just, it's incredible. So go check out that video. I'll link it down below. This bread box was part of an online estate sale of kitchen items. When I break it down, I paid 25 cents for it. We got our full asking price of 115. It's a vintage mid-century modern two-door tin bread box. Um, it says pie safe metal vintage yellow floral MCM. This street shark, Manta Man, was also an online auction find. He was part of a toy lot. He got me about, he got me about a dollar. So I think she paid a dollar for it. The whole lot was 19. And we sold him yesterday for 143.50 to someone in Australia. Buyer paid over 200 with shipping. Yeah. 
So that is what it looks like. It's from, it's an action figure from 1995. Somebody said street sharks do well. Yeah, they do. A lot of them do. Okay. Um, let's see where are we at on time. I'm going to do a couple more here. This is another one that is mine. And this is actually something I picked up at a thrift store for $1. It's a rare Sonic Yoko girl. It's a lamp work necklace. So um, let's see, pendant, necklace pendant, Sonic Yoko. It's M-I-C-H-O-U Pascal Anderson is what my research found. Just a really interesting item that I picked up at a thrift store for a dollar. Um, I just thought it looked cool. Now I started this item on eBay and I cross posted it to Mercari and Poshmark. I do use List Perfectly for that. Um, if you decide you want to check out List Perfectly, there's a demo video down in the description. And if you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. That will get you 30% off your first month. But this item sold faster on Poshmark, and I sold it for $135 over there. So very, very cool, uh, unique, different piece that I just thought was neat. But I did have to use Google Lens and figure out what it was because... Uh, it was a toughie. I got this at the Salvation Army. There were about 20 new packs of vintage barrettes in a grab bag bundle. The total bag was only $3. Three inch long seems to be the ones that sell the highest. Yes, she is correct. If you can find these goodie barrettes, oh my goodness, they are amazing. Um, and I actually just found some more. Oh, I'm so excited. I need to get them listed. I'm sitting here thinking, why have I not listed those? But anyway, you can see right here, hers are new in the packages and a keyword is stay tight. Oh my goodness, I'm looking at these. I'm trying to zoom in. Oh, this is incredible. New in the packaging. Wow, check it out. These are like always on my, I need to find these items whenever I'm out. Um, just such a cool thing. It's actually in my trailer. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. All right, plush of the month sold for full price same day it went live. It is a vintage new with tags BTTF. I don't know what that means. Oh, back to the future. He told us. Uh, so it's a, a plush. It's a doggy plush. I don't know how to say the name of the plush. Copernicus? 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 Is that how you say it? Copernicus? I don't know if I'm saying it right. Sold for $35.99. And the last one here, I got these super cute dolls from a local thrift store for $3 each and they sold for $60 plus shipping. They are vintage handmade frat, ooh, fabric clown doll retro boho MCM unique. This is what they look like. Let me know on this one, would you have walked right past it or would you picked up, have picked up these clowns? I don't know if I would have picked them up, honestly, but I will say that I've noticed that some folk art things are doing pretty well for me lately. So I am going to start to kind of branch out into that category a little more. All right, you guys, this is part one. I'm going to work on part two, and that video will also come out this month. These are August Bolos from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're not joined, if you're not joined, if you're not a member of my Facebook group, definitely go and join. And, um, you can share a bolo to be in a video like this under the featured and it's like featured announcements section. I will have a monthly post where you guys can go share a screenshot. So definitely go check that out. If you haven't already, leave me an emoji of a hat. And if you're new here, let me know how you found the channel. Thanks for watching.